remember when they used to say I look too mannish. Black girl magic, y'all can't stand it, y'all can't ban it. Made out like a bandit, they've been trying hard just to make us all vanish. I suggest they put a flag on a whole nother planet. Jane Bond, never Jane Doe, and I Jane Go, never Sambo. Black and white, yeah, that's always been my camo. It's looking like y'all gonna need some more ammo. I cut them off, I cut them off, I cut them off like Van Gogh. Now, damn. Good morning, you guys. It is Sunday. It's part of the new week. Um, y'all, <laughs> I have been on track all week. I have been marking things off my checklist. I've been staying on track for the most part and it feels good actually it feels great so today my mom comes back from Rochester um my fortunately my grandmother's in the hospital she had an allergic reaction to some type of itching medicine so I've been going um twice a day to take care of her dog Zach and oh even though I cleaned my car out it's still so much stuff on my carpet um hold on let me prop you guys up it's so beautiful outside today oh wait I don't got a daggone thing hold on gotta come back um, I think I I am gonna go ahead and work out today even though it's Sunday I usually work out um, I well this week I worked out Monday through Friday um, that was gonna come on but anyways um so yeah i'm going to take my grandmother's dog zacky zachariah out and um yeah uh I, what was i talking about exercising um i've been exercising five days this week so i'm pretty proud of that i'm gonna get it do it again i think i'm actually gonna work out today because it's just so beautiful outside it would be such a waste not to get outside and enjoy this beautiful weather especially because it has been raining and really nasty outside and wet and gross and um i think that it's just gonna be like so awesome to get out here and just kind of kind of walk i like walking because i can take in everything and appreciate things so yeah i want to get to where i'm jogging again that's what i used to do um i used to be able to jog these two two miles that um that i um, am walking now and so i want to build that back up so i'm starting with power walking so i can build up my breathing get a good pace um because that's what was really important to me like before i was breathing really well i had you know learned how to breathe really well i was getting i was at a good pace and so that's what i'm trying to build up and uh yeah yesterday i filmed two videos my new intro for the summer i'm really excited about it. i'm gonna see how that goes y'all let me know what you think um I think I'm going to no. I, I said that at um, a certain amount of subscribe, like at 100. When I get to 100 subscribers, I'm going to update my editing tools. Right now, um, there, it's just easy what I'm using, and I don't see no problem with it, you know. <laughs> so, um, editing all that stuff, like to start YouTube, I really wanted to just you know start YouTube and so I didn't buy all that expensive stuff the only thing expensive that I did get was my camera and actually honestly compared to other people's cameras my camera is not expensive at all I think my camera was four hundred and seventy nine dollars the belief that like get something good to start with and then as you get bigger and grow your equipment should grow too um, but I also see the flip side if you get good equipment at the beginning it can grow as you grow and you don't have to 
rebuy equipment and spend you know put more money into equipment later on because you already have like good tools or whatever but girl we got bills out here okay we got bills out here in these non-sponsored non-paying streets okay so yeah um i felt so good yesterday like getting everything done i just felt so productive and so i'm like hungry to do it again so today i don't really have anything i'm like ahead of schedule i have one blog post that i'm going to write because it will go up on monday and i'm sh sharing with my blog my favorite natural hair products i have been these past two years i've been working on thick thick thickening up my hair um because my hair was really thin like at the front so i've been working on that and it's finally at a place where i want it to be and so now i want to work on length so i'm sharing some things that i'm helping and um that has been helping me i am still of the belief like girl keep your natural braided down and protected um and i've been trying to wear my natural hair more i'm finally at the point where i'm like i feel like it's long enough where i'm comfortable wearing it out it's actually longer than i thought it was um just for me because of my, my texture hair my ends are super super dry and so i don't like leaving like putting my hair in a high puff and just leaving all of that it's just mm. so yeah i need to L I loc like more often when i wear my hair out and girl i have time to do that in the summer will not have time to do that when school comes you know what i mean um because i'm off for the summer but girlfriend girlfriend so yeah this i am so like i need to get off the sugar like this month i'm gonna have to do a cold turkey it is gonna be what it's gonna be but i need to get it's literally bloating me up it's making my face fat i was contouring my face yesterday and i'm like girl where did this actually like what's going on <laughs> okay because <laughs> like dang uh, so I am getting off the sugar. Um, I'm, and I'm, I have a tea. I'm gonna show you guys when I get home. The tea is actually really good. Even though it's a skin detox, I'm gonna do a skin detox because my skin is out of control. I'm a, I know that's um, attributed to what I'm eating, of course, cause you're, you know, your face is nothing but big, a bunch of pores. And I know that's attributed to all this you know terrible eating or whatever but for like the month of may my eating was not that bad like i so um i just really want to get really strict so i can weed out like okay the sugar stop okay my face is getting you know what i mean so i've been up since like seven something because y'all i was sleeping so good yesterday because i had a productive day had tired myself out i was drooling and everything I slept so good last night even though I have got to get a good mattress um, because the reality of it is I may start law school part-time and still live at home because I'll still have to work my job I want to spruce my room up I'm gonna be honest with you guys when I first moved back home I think it's almost been three years like am I mistaken I think so uh, I think this is, a, is this my third year or have I already had three years? I feel like I've already been home three years. That's how I really feel. I feel like I've already been home for three years. But I ended up being in my grandma's house for way longer than I thought I was gonna be. Um, but I was talking about like, I think moving, I'm saying that I think I've been home for almost three years. And when I first moved back home, I really did not intend to um, stay home as long as I have. Um, but I really wanted to seize the opportunity of staying home. I don't have those parents that let me stay for free. My expenses are low. And so I wanted to see that opportunity and finish up school and get some debt and stuff out the way. So that is what I've been doing. Um, my goal, however, was once i got done with the first leg of this degree i got my as this may i'll have my bachelor's next year 
but once I got done um, once I got finished with that first part of the degree my intentions was to either buy property or move out um, and now uh, reality is if I want to go to law school I prob I still have bills that still have to be paid and so I need to have income to do that and I have a good job that will do that um, I also have like an easy job so I'll still have time to study I do homework while I'm at work I can get a lot done while I'm at work including my work so it's just like my head is like okay I can probably stay home for another three years <laughs> three or four years and um, it just seems like so long three or four years finish up law school and then move out my parents aren't pressuring me or anything like that it's just like this was not the plan <laughs> this was not the plan once I realized like I really needed to get myself in order while I was home and my expenses were low um, then I was like all right I was all gung-ho was like get your second job get you know get to doing things and I did and um, now I'm like I really want my own space I'm outgrowing my room but now that the reality is like, girl, you really can't afford it because you're going to be in law school and that's going to be expensive and you need to be able to like not have to worry about this and focus on that and do your best. I want to spruce up my room. I did not. Um, I think that's what I was saying. I never did much to my room because I'm like, I'm not going to be here that long anyway. I'm probably the longest I, I intended on being back being home, honestly, was like a year. But one year has now turned into up three um dang it hasn't been i think so my third year home yeah <clears throat> mm. this will be my third year home <laughs> and um i didn't intend on staying home that long so now that i know that um i am gonna be home another three years i'm gonna i want to like spruce my room up i want to get a bed a new mattress and um I really want that armoire out of my room. It just make my life so much easier, and I want to do my closet, redo my closet. But mm, and I'm gonna hang up things and make it look nice and just be comfortable in my room. I literally have been using my room as just like this is my room. You know what I mean? Like it's it's this is what it's gonna be for right now. I won't be here that long. But I the reality is, I I hate that I wasted that time in that mentality because. I could have been done all this stuff, you know? So I'm about to get back in this house. Um, being lazy, did not want to go to Walmart to get my vegetables. I'll go tomorrow. On my way home, I have one more bag of vegetables that's going to last me one more day. So I'll meal prep on Monday like I normally do. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I will see you guys later, maybe. I will talk with you beauties later. Bye being so productive this is my third video that i've edited today and is being saved i got two videos already scheduled and ready to go the last thing i have to do is um do my calendar let me show you guys that real quick i don't know where to put y'all so i'm gonna come back this is what i was talking about you guys and it has Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then the weekend. And I just put like sticky notes of like what I need to pay, what I still need to buy, what I need to get done. But I do one of these every week. It's so helpful. Um, you can, I had a um, planner, but I could not remember to look into it. So this being open like this helps me better. I'm just a raggedy person like that, but yeah. I'm all right in there, and I'll see y'all later. Up, it is 6:30. Up and ready to work out, and it's pouring. It is pouring raining, and I'm looking at the forecast. The forecast don't even say it's supposed to be raining. What the heck? Okay, y'all. So that little rain is not gonna stop me. I'm about to, I just got my umbrella out the car. 
and I'm about to get going. So I'm about to turn my Nike app on. I'll see y'all later. The freaking sun is out clear as day and it's pouring right now. Florida don't know what it wants to do, honey. Cause now y'all know that's a goddamn shame. And now it's stopped. It's no longer raining. It was only raining for about five minutes or so. I'm on the way to work. Good morning. We're back to raining. Look at this, y'all. Literally, it's not been, I haven't been, it's not been, like, what the heck? What you got going on? Okay. So, I'm just now leaving work. I am so thankful that I worked out this morning because I don't feel like working out. <laughs> For me, working out before I get before I get everything jump started has been working out so much better. Working out so much better for me. I'm also glad that I meal prep because I do not, and I repeat, I do not feel like cooking. So I meal prep for the week. I've been doing that. Um, I'm trying to get into like good habits. I think I told you guys it takes 21 days to create a habit. Um, and so I'm trying to create good habits. And so I've been meal prepping for I think over 21 days, almost over 21 days. I'm almost I might almost be at the 21 day mark because I know my sister did my budget in April and that's when I started meal prepping. So, I think I'm over 21 days. So, I've been meal prepping. It's just been easier for me. I'm not a person that can't eat the same thing all the time. I'm actually very, like, grateful to that because making, like, cooking every day, making meals every day has to be tough. Like, I feel like for me, if I was that kind of person, I would literally, like, eat out all the time because it's just like how the heck am I supposed to cook something like especially like I, I used to have a friend who she did not eat leftovers it just it was something like she just couldn't do leftovers and I was like what I eat these leftovers for breakfast lunch and dinner and it's fine um so I'm glad I'm not that kind of person because I would be stressed out I would be a stressed out individual like could you imagine having to cook something different every day oh Take me now. I can't. No. So right now I'm about to go pick up my mom's food and head on home. Um, she offered to buy me something to eat. But I was like, no, girl. I have to stick with my meal plan. <laughs> like, and I never got time for this. Also, let me tell you guys how I know that I'm an adult. I had the option. Because I've been doing good on my budget, I haven't been, you know, I've been sticking to my budget and doing good. I had the option this week to either save money or get ahead of my bills. No, well, to either say, I had three options. I could save money, spend money, or get ahead on my bills. Do y'all know I got ahead on my bills? I didn't spend one red cent. And those were my options. My options were to get ahead of my bills, save it, or spend it. Now the girl, Talia back in the day would have got her a cute little outfit, girl. Okay. I would have probably got my raggedy nails fixed. <laughs> but I'm just like, nah, I could really wait. I feel like, what does this mean for me? Like, what's the next step? Do I find my husband now that I'm responsible? Like, what's going on? So, <laughs> yeah, let me run in here and get my mom's stuff, you guys. I will talk with you guys when I get back in the car. So I'm going to get my passport on Friday, finally. I feel like every time I have to get my passport, some bull crap comes up and hinders me, but guess what? <laughs> Tell you why, the devil got to be shook because I already saved for it, already planned for it. <laughs> so nothing could stop me. But um, yeah, so when I get home, I have to work on two blog posts. Um, and then I have to schedule out some, something for work. I don't know though. It was something. Why can't I remember? I don't know. Y'all know what I've been trying to work on doing? My skin has been, um, giving me hell. Like, extra hell. 
I know part of it has to do with my eating. I also have sensitive skin, so I know part of it is like the fact that I put my hands in my face so much. So I've been trying to keep my hands out of my face. Cause you know, when you're just doing like this, you don't think like you have not washed your hands. You know, you're touching your keyboard, you're touching doors, you're touching your steering wheel. I keep, because this is the kind of person that I am, I keep me some of these. Some of these stays with me in my purse, in my desk, in my bathroom, in the house, like, whoa, in the house. Like, I keep me some Clorox disinfecting wipes, but um, I don't disinfect my doorknob every time I touch it. I can't disinfect the door at work, or whatever, and I'll be in traffic, like, rubbing and touching on my face. So I'm trying to keep my sheets and stuff clean. Um, and like wash them at least once a week usually i wash them every two weeks because i'm really good about bathing like i'm not getting in my sheets dirty but um i've been washing them once a week and i need to, i'm gonna try, i'm trying to get better at like keeping my hands out my face and i'm gonna see what my skin do after that overall though you guys like i'm so thankful the lord has seen me through too much and i am just come i'm just in such like a joyous season and i be sitting back thinking like lord where did this joy come from things are not going my way <laughs> and i'm just like lord where did this joy come from but i honestly to my core i believe that all things work for the good of those that love the lord i believe that to my core and so i can see this year for whatever reason and maybe it's just my season i can see the things of my past being worked for good I, and it's just like what you know what i mean and i'm just so thankful the things that i've learned the lessons that i've learned the things that i've obtained in those lessons i can see it working for my good and it's kind of just like girl when you work with the lord to fulfill his purpose like you i feel like i'm unstoppable i feel like there's nothing i can't reach i feel like you can tell me no but i don't believe you because why <laughs> like it's possible so what are you saying so i really um i i just cannot even believe and i'm just so i am like at peace i am happy i am um, I feel like I'm clear minded. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like how the world, I feel like how you should feel at 30 where you feel like my shit is together. You know what I'm saying? Or it's close to being together and I'm almost there, you know, like that's how I feel. And it's kind of just like, what, what am I supposed to do with that? Like then you just, I, I just can't stop. I just can't stop. I'm about to head home. I'm going to take my dog out, stretch, and um, be on my computer for a couple hours and go to sleep. Last night, I went to sleep early. And I've been sleeping a lot better since I've been working out. If you are working out, let me know how if you get good sleep. Because I've been sleeping a lot better. I haven't been sleeping like as hard. And I don't feel like drunk when I wake up. Like. I don't I feel like okay it's up it's time to go like I don't feel like I used to think it was because I don't I just wake my body up I'm not waiting for my body to naturally wake up but I don't feel like that anymore I feel like I'm getting more active and eating and eating better um and so I feel like that has to do with it I know I, because I'm working out I'm tiring myself out so I'm having like a good sleep but this morning, I was just up and ready to go, girl. I was up and ready to get it popping on a handstand. I don't know. I don't know who this girl is because I'm not a big fan of, um, I hate saying like I'm not a morning person. I'm an all day kind of person, but it do take me like more time to kind of get going. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I don't be like 
nasty or anything. I just don't speak because it's just like, I haven't brushed my teeth yet, so I'm not going to be in your face talking. Okay, I don't have a bra on. My titties are down to my thighs. You know, so I'm not going to be all in your face like, girl, hey, good morning, blah, 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 blah. I'm not doing all of that again. Let me get together. Let me put my face on. Let me, you know, brush my brows for the day. Chill. Like, dang. So, yeah. Anyways, I love you guys. Hey to all my new subscribers. I am Talia. This is Close Girl Play, the channel. But you already knew that. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you beauties tomorrow. Be blessed. Be well. And remember, do it bigger and better in true plus size fashion. Bye. Oh, my gosh. Lucy. <laughs> no, mama. Come on. Anyways, before my dogs were really interrupted, I was trying to show you guys the scale this week. Um, I think it's been, yeah, this will be my second week. Today's Thursday. I am down 7 pounds and 10 pounds overall, so I'm a little excited. I have to run, though, because I'm already running late, um, and I need to get in the shower. So, yeah, I'm really happy. I'm really excited, and I cannot wait to see where this consistency takes me. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye.